the jammers are quite easy to recognise. A trained operator would be able to carry out speed enforcement. Devon Cornwall have actually taken a decision to train the operators of the speed enforcement devices. Uh, part of that training is to tell them how to recognise that the devices are actually fitted to vehicles and are operating when they're trying to measure the speed of a vehicle. It's very easy to spot and the operators are now trained uh, to be able to do that. Well, this vehicle is fitted with a laser jammer on the rear, just at the rear valance here. You can see we've gone up the road here, about 300 metres away now. And just before it disappears over the road, then just where the indicator is there, is that is where the laser jammer is fitted on this wheel. Yes, there are uh, some simple techniques they can use to prevent the device operating as it's meant to be. The um, people who use the devices and, and indeed sell the devices uh, don't give out any information as to how they can be easily defeated. It's a very simple and uh, easy technique to use. But what I was able to do was actually use the lines on the road to show that the chap was doing in excess of 30 miles per hour. He's got a, a pretty high degree of confidence that he was above the speed limit so we know he was actually breaking the law at the time he was detected and deliberately obstructed the police in getting a measurement of him, so that provides enough evidence for a pervert the course of justice charge. This is what, on the day we actually recovered the vehicle, and I've got a close-up of the laser jammer device at the rear of the vehicle. That's another close-up of the rear. It's just a, a metal bracket with a, they usually red, these devices, uh, more sort of laser Lens are a red colour, don't have to be, some of them are clear. And here we can see exactly the same uh, transducer device fitted to the front of the vehicle and it's under the number plate which is the most common place you will find it. If you actually use and are detected using the device, there are parts of the law that can be used to prosecute either obstructing a police officer in the course of his duty or for perverting the course of justice if we can see and prove that an offence of speeding has been committed.